friend this is a kalpana here in this video we are going to see a problem from circuit so let's get started problem find the value of a if 2x square plus a y square minus 3x plus 2y minus 1 equals to 0 represents a circle and find its radius so we are asked to find the value of a if this represents a circle and also we are asked to find its radius solution given circle equation is two x square plus a y square minus three x plus two y minus one equals to zero okay and we have the equation of circle x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0 where the quotient of x square is equals to quotient of y square where the quotient of x square is equals to the quotient of y square using this scenario by the given circle or from the given circle, we'll get a equals to 2. Therefore, a equals to 2. Okay, simply by comparing these two circle equations and by using this condition or this scenario, we'll get a equals to 2. Okay, here the quotient of x square is 2 and quotient of y square is a. So, these two must be equal, right? Then you will get a equals to 2. Fine. Now, given circle equation can be written as Two x square plus you have the value of a right, which is two, so we'll get two y square minus three x plus two y minus one equals to zero. We have to get the quotient of x square and y square one, right? The quotient of x square and y square must be one. So what we'll do is we'll simply divide the total equation by one, or let's multiply one by two. To this total equation then you'll get 1 by 2 into 2x square plus 2y square minus 3x plus 2y minus 1 equals to 0 right you could write this as 1 by 2 into 2x square plus 2y square minus 3x plus 2y minus 1 equals to 0 then you'll get x 2x square by 2 plus 2y square by 2 minus 3x by 2 plus 2y by 2 minus 1 by 2 equals to 0. So your 2 2 gets cancelled. Then we'll get x square plus y square minus 3 by 2 into x plus y minus 1 by 2 equals to 0. See, we are asked to find radius of the given circle, right? We know that r equals to or the radius of a circle x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0 is given by square root of g square plus f square minus c, right? 
Now to find the radius, you need the values of g and f. In order to find the values of g and f, what we'll do is we'll compare this equation with the general circle equation. Now compare this equation x square plus y square minus 3 by 2 into x plus y minus 1 by 2 equals to 0 with actual circle equation y square x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0. Okay? By equating the quotient of x, quotient of y, and constants, quotient of x is 2g, which is equals to quotient of x minus 3 by 2, quotient of y, 2f equals to quotient of y1, c equals to minus 1 by 2. We'll get g equals to minus 3 by 2 into 2, which is equals to minus 3 by 4. And from this, we'll get f equals to 1 by 2, right? So now we are having the values of g, f, and c, okay? By substituting these values in r, we'll get the required radius. Therefore, g equals to minus 3 by 4, f equals to 1 by 2 and c equals to minus 1 by 2. So now we are going to find the radius. The radius of the circle x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0 is given by square root of g square plus f square minus c, right? So that is r equals to square root of g square plus f square minus c. Now r equals to square root of g square that is minus 3 by 4 whole square plus f square 1 by 2 whole square minus c that is minus of minus 1 by 2. This is equals to square root of minus square minus into minus is plus 3 square is 9 by 4 square is 16 plus 1 by 2 square is 4 minus into minus plus 1 by 2. Now we'll find the LCM of 16, 4 and 2. Sixteen four into our multiples of 2, right? So we'll use 2 table. 2 fours, sorry. 2 are 16. 2 twos are 4. 2 ones are 2. 2 fours are 8. 2 ones are 2. 2 twos are 4. So LCM of 16, 4 and 2 is 2 twos are 4, 4 twos are 8, 8 twos are 16. So this is equals to square root of 9 plus, you are having 4, right? 2 twos are 4 plus 2, 2 twos are 4, 4 twos are 8. This is equals to square root of 9 plus 4 plus 8. 8 plus 4 is 12 plus 9. 9 plus 2 is 11. 
21. So you would write it as, you would write this as square root of 21 by square root of 16. Square root, uh, square root of 16 is 4, right? So you'll get square root of 21 by 4. Therefore, radius of the given circle is square root of 21 by 4 and value of a equals to 2. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from circles in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.